Hello dear moms. This video is not to give you any knowledge or information about coronavirus, but we will focus on the cute and lovable little virus we have at our homes at all times, our child or children. In normal times, we're mentally prepared to have them over full time during their winter or summer break, and we can handle them. But with the social distancing suddenly becoming a norm, this has definitely taken us by the storm. Not only do we have children full time at home, we have no help around us either. We're at loggerheads on how to manage the new home crisis. As a mother, I understand the crisis that is brewing in our homes right now. Let me try and help you deal emotionally in these unusual times. But first, let's take a peek and see what is happening in our homes these days and check if any of this is applicable to you. We woke up one fine morning to find that the world that we were so familiar with and that the routine that we had so diligently set up for years had now completely gone haywire. For many of us homemakers, we're now grappling with juggling various roles. We have to cook, clean, swap, mop, worry about how to keep the house actually away from the real dangerous virus, ensure that we have enough groceries to feed everyone for weeks, take care of elders at home, worry even more about our children's growing dependency on the virtual screens, make effective schedules for them so that they can play, study, be creative, etc., etc. While for working moms, in addition to all the work we have, we have to manage our virtual meetings, complete the tasks given to us, and coordinate with our seniors to deliver according to our timelines. Well, if that is not enough, we also have the additional role of becoming a teacher and teach our children. Besides this, we're also expected to be patient, kind, loving, well-groomed in times where we are handling all of this. Well, ladies, if any of you is going through any of this, then it is time for us to manage our emotional well-being as we're taking care of the physical well-being of our children. Stay tuned in and I will give you five tips on how to cope with our emotional well-being. Till then, stay safe and be happy.